this is completely broken and I think they should just nerf it. Let me show you guys a quick version of the Heartbreaker real quick. You can use this in PvP, it's completely broken. I use this mainly for PvE, so if you want to run through heroic missions or just control points or farm your shit, whatever you want to do, you can literally run around with like 3.6 to 5 million armor and deal a lot of damage. We're gonna focus on the Rock and Ball or the ACS. Of course, if you have like Optimus, you're gonna deal a bit more damage but we want to have some magazine size and that's why we're using the rock and roll, right? So let me show you another build real quick. So most of the players in the Dark Zone right now are using the Heartbreaker like this. They're using Contractors and Foxes or they're going to use one Fenris and Foxes or one Fenris and Contractors. They're going to go for headshot damage on every single piece and they're going to use um, the Farmers with a Flatline or even another assault rifle like the Kingbreaker or some stuff, right? So of course this is pretty much the hardest hitting build. If it comes to Heartbreaker, go for headshot damage, stack it up, and you're gonna deal a lot of damage. But now, we're gonna talk about the crit damage version, right? I focused here mainly on crit chance and on the shotgun. So I'm not gonna use a Fenris piece, I'm not gonna use a Contractor's Last, and I'm not gonna use the Foxes, um, because I wanna stack into crit chance and crit damage as much as possible. We're gonna main actually the rock and roll and we're just gonna finish with the farmers we're not gonna main the farmers because we want to stack up the damage and the bonus armor as quick as possible we're gonna use of course the rock and roll because of the magazine size and the rpm right so what i did i went to npcs shot them once in the head oh, nice it's broken okay okay and this this is a bug actually, yeah? If your target is not pulsed, you have to drop the chest piece, just equip another one and go back to your chest piece. I have the right one? No, I wanted this one. It's bugged again. What the f man. Now it's working, you see? So we shoot him once in the head and then we're gonna stack up. Right, we are almost full. Let me get rid of the drone. And now we're gonna have like 5.4 million armor and then you just body shot everybody. And yeah, you can use this in PvP. I used it once. It's completely broken. Once in the head, and then just body shots. If somebody is using a pulse resistance build, the body shots won't work, so you have to keep shooting the head, then you have to change the build and you can go for like the headshot version anyways, right? But if somebody not is using a pulse resistance build, just go once for the head, and then for the freaking body. Oh my god, I need ammo. So what I did, if it comes to like uh, robots and dogs and shit, I just pulsed and stacked up on the freaking robot. Yeah, what you also can do, so stack up and then finish with the farmers, right? So that's, let's watch some damage numbers. This is a named enemy.
So, wie er full stacked. Hätte mich gesetzt ist. Oh mein Gott. Wie sieht der Damage? It's a full blue build. With quit chance, quit damage. There's literally no point to go for striker. To stack up with a freaking striker build. There's literally no point. Just go for this. I'm pretty sure they will nerf it. I guess because this is completely broken. Let me show you the pieces real quick. Four piece heartbreaker, one Tesca, one Badger. The Badger turf for the shotgun damage, all crit chance, crit damage, all blue, 1.8 million armor, six blues, no reds. Heartbreaker here, armor, crit damage, crit damage, another heartbreaker here, crit chance, crit chance, another heartbreaker here, crit chance, crit damage, another heartbreaker here, crit damage. I use the Seska for the 10% critical chance, crit damage, crit chance, the chest piece for the 100 stacks, and the backpack for the 2% armor. Crit chance here, crit damage here. Crit chance here, crit chance here, crit damage here. And of course the 20 rounds. Rock and roll because of the magazine size. Farmers with damage to target out of cover. And of course flatline for the amplified 15% pulsed enemies. The stats, 55 critical chance, 127 critical damage, the farmers, 60 cap and 122. I use the firewall specialization because of the critical damage mod and because of the medkit. Alright, that's the build. No contractors, no foxes, no shield. You can go for a shield if you want to. Use a pulse. I would say this is the most important for dogs and robots and shit. Use a defender drone if you want to. Like I said, I mainly use the rock and roll. Alright guys, that's it, I'm out.